I've noticed, especially with you, and I've noticed it with, with myself too, that a lot of the feedback that I'll get when I say something encouraging is really positive. A producer will, I mean, just now a producer said, thank you, I really needed that today. I'm sure you see that all the time. Mm -hmm. um, people need motivation in, in this business that we're in. And unfortunately, I, and, and I'd like to know your opinion on this. There's a lot of responsibility that comes with having a platform, even if your platform is small. And I recently had a podcast episode with Dame. Where we were kind of talking about all the negativity, all the discouragement that, that people are using their platform to spread. That has an impact too, right? A hundred percent, a hundred percent. I mean, what do you really think about it? And I'm about to go like kind of semi deep. So <clears throat> the negative and positive thing is, dude, hugely impactful on us, you know, especially on social media. Like you can see something on Instagram or Twitter or whatever. And if it triggers you, um, then it could ruin your whole day for a lot, a lot of us. Right. Or, and it, or it could just throw you off balance. And that's sort of the, the positive and negative effects of, social media there's a lot of positives and but the negatives are really negative so one thing that's really fascinating to me and i think is very interesting is this whole idea of things being neutral right the and again i'm about to get a little deep but the the, the universe is a series of organisms and events and things that just happen because of uh, the, the natural sort of rules of how the universe works. And so you have these things that just happen that are to the universe are neutral, completely just, they're just things that happen. And being a human being, part of being a human being is we attach emotions. And this is a beauty of being a human being too, is we attach an emotion to a thing. So the universe is like, okay, this is just a thing that happens. But for us, we see a thing or a person or an event. And we, as human beings, we react to that particular thing in either a positive way or a negative way. And so that's completely predicated on our biases, our, our mindset, uh, you know, how how much are we being mindful of paying attention to positive or negative things? And when you really sort of look at life in that way, you start to realize that a lot of the negativity that we experience is all reactive, right? It's all stuff that we react to. And we sort of have this choice. The good news is that as a human being, you, you have a choice to choose how you want to react to a particular thing. So I'll give you an example. Um, we all get this. You get this all the time. People that just say dumb shit in your comment section, whether that's Instagram or YouTube, or you get a weird email. I love the emails that you, <laughs> you post up from weird. I love that shit, man. Please. It's comedy to me. But when you, when you see this stuff, it, it's really they're just things that happen and there's there's always going to be sort of this negative way that you can look at it or a positive way that you look at it and one thing that i've been practicing recently is trying to show more empathy for people that say negative things on my comment section so they might say oh ill mind you suck or yo fuck fuck your course or yo your kits are trash and i can react to that i have the choice to react in a negative way and say, I'm going to let this bother me and I'm going to reply and I'm going to say, fuck you, or I'm going to react in a different way and show a little bit more, a little bit of empathy and say, wow, like this person is going through some type of emotional uh, um, 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 trauma to the point where they went out of their way to go on my platform and say something negative, which is a reflection of the way they they feel in that moment inside, which is not a very nice place to be. And so I empathize and I say, wow, I really feel like, um, 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 I, I don't want to say sorry, but I, like, I feel bad for the person who 
got to that breaking point of, of, of taking that kind of action with the Twitter fingers. And so uh, again, when I, when I start to do that, it just, it helps me personally with the positive and negative stuff. So I think that it's really important for us in this community to start to be mindful of how we react to certain things and to just like 